Outrocast. How are you doing aside from speaking with me today? I am great. Good to see you. Great to see you again. The last time I had the pleasure of speaking with you, Outpost was the new project. So how yeah. long do you have to keep Helen's Dead a secret? No longer. It's out. Um, it's no secret. And Outpost is out still too. So go see that as well. Um, right. And uh, yeah, so we uh, I did this sort of madcap murder mystery movie that just came out. Um, and it's very, very fun. Very fun. We got to shoot in Santa Fe. And um, yeah, it was great. It's like uh, sort of in the style of Clue. It's like, what if a bunch of slightly unlikable people go to a dinner party and find a dead body? What would happen? Hijinks would happen. Less screaming than you had an outpost. Less screaming, but still some screaming. Still a good amount of screaming. I've decided that everything that I do now has to have just a little bit of screaming in it. So what was your gateway into this film? I asked that because being in the state universe, the, the Nickelodeon universe, the orange is the new black Nickel, uh, universe and all that, you're in a lot of people's peripheries, but did you know the director? I didn't know the director, but I know him now, obviously. But Asher, I think Asher, I think he might've, it might've been like a state adjacent situation because I think he saw me in Burning Love. So I think he liked Burning Love which I mean, is one of my favorite things as well. If anyone hasn't seen it, it's like a parody of The Bachelor. Um, and yeah. uh, so he, yeah, so that's, I think how I was sort of brought into the mix with this with this movie, because he had mentioned it when I when I talked to him before I did the movie. So, um, so he knew me, I didn't know him, uh, but he's great. And uh, he had worked with my friend Malin Ackerman um, before. And so, yeah, it was, it was awesome. And I got to bring my friend Brian Husky in so it was good to get to do a movie with him. Um, yeah, all and in all, very great. You just mentioned Malin and you two were in the donor party, which was about what, six we months were, ago, nine months ago? Yeah, we were in the donor party that came out on Hulu now. It's out on, in Hulu if uh, people want to watch that. And um, yeah, we've worked together, you know, quite a few times, Children's Hospital um, and Medical Police, Burning Love, all those things. So, yeah. Yeah. The, the old kind of career path when you were doing movies was like, do two a year and that's it. And the Beth Dover way of doing it seems to be about seven a year and three TV shows. Right. Or just do a whole bunch at one time and then not work for a year and a half. You know what I mean? Like that's sort of my career is real, very much that. It's uh, <laughs> like a lot of uh, all or nothing kind of, you know, as is, I think, probably all actors, if I'm going to be fully honest. I think we're all a little bit like that. No need to be honest here, but is Helen Stead part of a batch of projects that you worked on? Um, yeah, well, at the time, yeah, we were, I think, you know, because we shot that around the same time that we were shooting Donor Party and Helen's Dead and um, this movie Scrap that's going to be coming out. Oh. So those all were like filmed in the same six month period. So um, yeah. So steadily working, but never the same genre for you. That's the other thing that I'm saying. Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> I don't understand questions. Um, yes, different genres, different genres. Normally I do a lot more comedic work, but um, that's purely accidental. You know, I went to theater school and tried to be a, you know, dramatic actor, whatever, but I'll, uh, I'll do, I'll do all kinds of stuff, but I, I typically, my lane is comedy, but it's been fun to get to work in the horror space. I want to do that more. Um, and, uh, and this is a really great sort of combo of both, you know, it's sort of like this horror farce thing, you know, stuff a la clue. And what a great cast, uh, Oliver, I had on a junket a couple of weeks ago, one of the funniest people that you don't realize is immediately one of the funniest people. You he's can so tell about Tyrese. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. He's, he was, I mean, he's such a presence Tyrese. He wasn't there the whole time because he's Tyrese, you know, he's very fancy, but, um, but yeah, he was just the coolest to get to work with. I felt like it was sort of like an out of body experience. Um, no, it was great. It was great. He's awesome. For this particular role, were there chemistry reads and that kind of things, or is it just, Hey, we know you, you're good. You're hired. It was that, Hey, we know you, we know you, you're funny. You want to come on to this indie movie in Santa Fe? Yeah, let's go. So that's what we did. Was there great. a lot of rehearsing? Because I get, you're obviously a great improviser, but not everybody in the cast, not naming names here, not everyone is improv oriented like you are. 
Well, here's what I'll say. A lot of them, I mean, there was not a lot of rehearsal because it was a really, it, it was, it was a true indie film in that sense. Like we were like, let's get the, let's do this. We have a certain amount of time. We got to shoot this. So, um, but yeah, we all worked really well together and were able to improvise. And sometimes they were shooting when we didn't even like some of the, uh, the dinner, I believe was shot that we were like, oh, they're shooting. And we were just like chatting sometimes. So, you know, I think they were really trying to get a feel for how we all work together in reality. Um, and we all got along really well, so it was nice. So the improv was easy. So you mentioned New Mexico a few times, and I heard rumors that some of the movies that show a Vegas set are actually filmed in New Mexico, that there's a Vegas mock-up somewhere oh, really? in New Mexico. Are you finding more things are being shot in New Mexico these days? Yeah, I mean, I rem I mean, Joe shot the movie Paul in Santa Fe. And so I was down there for that. And then we, sh what did I shoot? I feel like this is the third time I've been somewhere where we were shooting something in Santa Fe. So I guess, I don't know. I think there's some years where there's like tax breaks happening in that particular city. And I think maybe in 2008 that was happening and now this is happening. So I think it's when that happens is when people, especially in indie filmmaking, go to those places. But also Santa Fe is such a, such a cool backdrop um so yeah. i think that's also part of the reason as well if you were to talk about new mexico eight years ago all i think most people could say is balloon festival mark Marin, the shins breaking bad and now it seems like one in four movies is being shot there yeah a lot is being shot there and meow wolf if you oh. if you shoot something there go to meow wolf it's very, very cool have you heard of meow oh. wolf I've been to the Vegas one. Uh, I was interviewing yeah. the guitar player of Dokken, and he mentioned their latest music video was shot at Meow Wolf, and you just reminded me. Oh, that's so, it's very, very cool. It's like Dokken. an acid trip of like an art experience, you know, very interactive. It was awesome. And I think it started there. It started in Santa Fe, but they're, oh, really? they're all over now. Mm -hmm. That is a unique so. thing to see that the artistic, creative endeavor starts in New Mexico and then goes to Las Vegas, not Las Vegas, then New Mexico. I know, right? I know exactly. Well, well, back to the Beth Dover show here, right? Yes, now. Yeah. So, <laughs> so <laughs> the next film coming out is uh, tell me besides Helen's Dead, the next film was a control, you said? Um, scrap is it scrap? Scrap, scrap. scrap. I yeah, got so one that's... word right. Yeah, <laughs> we were, um, we uh I, it's it, that's sort of in the festival circuit right now but I, it's been winning awards and doing really well um Vivian Kerr is the filmmaker uh she wrote directed and starred in it um mm -hmm. and it's um it's it's being well received I don't I don't know when it's going to come out but I'm sure it will at some point and well, then you'll have me on again I hope so and Will there be more collaborations with Joe <laughs> or was that one and done because you went, I, I can't handle him writing the films? No, I loved it. I loved it, truly. And, and there will be more collaborations. Absolutely. He's writing something right now. I would like to, um, you know, I know that I can't be the lead in all of his films, but I said, you know, just because he, he, you know, he works in the horror space. That's what he wants to do, writing, right. directing horror. So I just said, you want to get, you know, uh, that classic running through the woods murdered kind of scene. So, so I want him to write me one of those because I haven't done that yet. Hmm. To do list Feels stuff. like a rite of passage for an actor, you know? That, that does make a lot of sense. Wow. Okay, well, two quick questions <laughs> and then I let you go. And okay. the first one is, what's the number one hobby when you're not busy with the acting craft with the family thing because you're still well, kind of a mystery. I was going to say the number one hobby is picking up my kid from school and taking him to soccer practice and baseball and piano lessons. And right now that's how I feel. I'm a bit of a chauffeur. Uh, so I spend a lot of time in my car listening to podcasts and things like that because uh, I am um, at the beck and call of my son, but I'll, uh, <laughs> I have these weird like midlife crisis moments where I'm like, I'm going to learn drums. Uh, and so I take like a couple of drum lessons. I've joined a Taylor Swift cover band with my friend James and we're going to, and we like took a singing lesson and now I'm going to, you know, stuff like that. Oh, and middle-aged dad jam band with Ken and David, they're performing around. So we have a show at the lodge room, December 28th, if anyone wants to go in LA um, where we sing, you know, eighties hits basically. 
Well, that actually tied into the last thing I want to ask, because when I had the pleasure of recently speaking with Craig Wedron, I, I love how big of a Van Halen fan he was. And I'm finding that everyone from the state was a closeted diehard Van Halen fan. Am I wrong to assume that by proxy, you are also a Van Halen fan? I mean, I'm a Van Halen fan. I don't know if I'm like a super fan, insane super fan like Craig, but um, but yeah, of course. I mean, it's Van Halen, of course, you know. But yeah. you know, I'm a, li- I'm a lot of my stuff is more like a chick with a guitar. You know what I mean? I'm a little like more folk. So you're more Lilith Fair 97? I'm a little bit more Lilith Fair 97. It's my secret embarrassment, but my truth. That is my truth. Well, I but I like Van Halen. I'm into Van Halen. Don't get me wrong. I'm into Van Halen. I do look forward to seeing your musical endeavors in the near future. But seriously, great work on Helen's Dead. Looking forward Thank to everything you. that's to come from you and the household over there. Thank you so much. And it was great to talk to you again. Outro cast.